Okay, super. So why don't you start, go ahead and get comfortable laying down on your backs with your knees bent. Uh, we'll start with the knees bent. We're going to come into the breath. And while you lay down, I'm going to read to you out of the yoga meditation book for today's meditation. <sighs> and you can just start by coming into your breath, right? Like just sort of check into where you're at right now. So today our reading says meditate on your goals and desires. Today, during a quiet moment, close your eyes and envision what you want to do in your life, your hopes and dreams. Imagine yourself in a state of having already achieved it all. Notice what achieving your dreams feels like in your body. Notice what it feels like for your heart and your mind. Sometimes envisioning these feelings of accomplishment can help pave the way to success because it mentally and emotionally prepares us for manifesting our dreams. Envisioning sets the stage and helps us feel that our goals are within our reach. Sometimes we need to close our eyes to see farther. Each morning this week, try an envisioning exercise and see how it sets your tone for the day. So as we come into the breath, right, just take a moment to sort of notice how you're feeling with your feet flat on the earth. Roll the shoulders out, bring the palms facing upward, allow the back to get a little heavy. And if it's possible, inhale through the nose, deep down into the belly, and then exhale everything. And slowly, consciously, kindly deepening the breath, right? Nice deep breaths. Make sure as you exhale that you exhale everything. You really let it all go. Sink into the earth a little bit. Relax the jaw, the face. Go ahead and rock the head a little side to side. Oftentimes there's a little grip in the neck, so just let that go. And go ahead and bring the head back to center. So with the palms up, comfortable distance away from the body, go ahead and push the shoulders down and then release. Push the shoulders down onto the earth and then release. Let's do that one more time. Let's push the shoulders down onto the earth and then release. And then go ahead and float the arms up overhead on the earth. Go ahead and extend one leg and then the other, and let's just take a full body stretch. So reach the fingertips away, reach the heels away, toes are pointed towards the ceiling. And then go ahead and point the toes away from the body. Again, bring the toes towards the sky, heels push away. Point the toes away from the body one more time. Relax that stretch for a moment. Keep the arms up overhead. And then push the right arm and the right leg away. So just kind of stretching through that right side a little bit. You can point the toes or the heel, whichever feels most appropriate. Relax that. And then do the left side, left hand, left foot, either the toes or the heel, doesn't matter. Relax that, breathe here for a moment. Now we'll do a little diagonal stretch. So right hand, left foot. So pushing that left foot away, right hand away. Feel the stretch across the center of the body. Relax that. Right hand, left foot. Again, feeling the stretch across the center of the body, that diagonal plane of fascia is a little harder to get to. Go ahead, relax that and breathe. Let's roll over onto the left side of the body. 
So as you roll over onto the left side of the body, you're gonna keep the knees bent. They're gonna be nice and high as if you're sitting in a chair. Left arm comes straight out from the shoulder, right hand comes on top. If you want a little support on your head, just grab your blanket and put it under your head. So fingertips are stacked, knees are stacked. We're gonna inhale the right arm up and over. Eyes are gonna follow the hand. We're gonna come all the way behind the body and then exhale, hands together. Taking time, nice, slow breaths. Again, inhaling up and over. Exhale, hands together. Beautiful. This time as you do it, reach your fingertips away. Like really reach towards the sky. Reach behind you. And as you exhale, continue that reach. Feel your back open, especially as you come forward. Let's do two more times. Inhaling up and over. Nice and slow. Exhale the hands together. Beautiful. And on your second round, go ahead and leave the right hand on the earth. Maybe it's a little higher than the shoulder. Bring the head into a comfortable position, whatever that means for you. Releasing the right arm down and breathe here. So feeling the front of the chest begin to open up, particularly on the right side. Beautiful. Go ahead and roll the palms down onto the earth. Inhale the knees through center. Let's exhale to the other side. You can go ahead and bring that left arm with you. So again, hands are stacked, knees are stacked. And we're going to inhale the left arm up and over. So we're doing the same thing with the other side. Oh, nice. Exhale together. So again, keeping it a little easy the first couple times. Just get the feel of the movement. Eyes follow the fingers. And then as you come into the third time, go ahead and stretch. Like really reach the fingertips away from center as you open. Reach them away from center as you close. Beautiful. Two more times with your breath. And then as you come into the second round, go ahead and leave the left arm on the earth. Head comes into a comfortable position, whatever that means for you. And just breathe into this. Again, I like to have my hand a little higher than my shoulder. So there's this nice opening in the front portion of the left chest. Nice deep breaths. Just surrendering into this pose for a moment. Beautiful. Roll the palms down. Go ahead and bring the feet into center. Feet back onto the earth. Go ahead and bring the arms a little bit closer to the body. You can roll those palms up again. And just notice if the shoulders feel a little um, heavier on the earth if the front uh, of the chest feels a little more open. Always knowing that the answers are yes, no, and I'm not sure. But maybe there's a little effect here. All right, we're going to do a supported bridge pose. So we're going to bring the arms a little bit closer. You're going to locate your block. If you don't have a block, take a blanket. We actually used a blanket on Tuesday and it was kind of nice. So if you would rather use a blanket, it's a little gentler, you can do that. But with the knees bent, feet on the earth, about hip distance apart, we're gonna inhale the booty up. We're gonna bring the block down onto the sacrum. And we're gonna come down onto the block or the blanket, whichever feels best, all right? This should feel comfortable. If it's not comfortable, the block is too far in the low back. Bring it down a little bit. And then once you get here, go ahead and roll the shoulder blades together and down. Palms will come up. 
front of the chest will open and breathe here for a moment. Relax the face. Tune into the back of the neck. Make sure that that's comfortable. Make sure that your feet are parallel to the sides of your mat. So your toes haven't floated out. And then depending on how you're feeling today, right now in this moment, it might be interesting to bring the block onto the second side. So we can inhale the booty up, we can flip that block over and come up. If you're not feeling it today, don't do it. But if you're not sure, try it. The other thing that you can do that might be interesting is you can bring your feet a little closer to your torso. So you kind of start to feel that stretch into the um, quadricep. So maybe the fingertips touch the heels. Again, just breathing into that. Imagine that your internal organs are sliding away from the position that they're always in. We're creating space, right? Space for prana, chi, oxygen, energy, basically just energy. Notice if you're holding any tension anywhere in your body, see if you can release it. All right, if you came up onto the second side of the block, go ahead and come down. Allow your hands to either um, ground into the earth, palms into the earth, or maybe you gently uh, bring your hands around the block. We're gonna lift one leg and then the other up towards the sky. And you want to keep the feet a little apart, like the legs should be a little apart. Don't bring them together. Let them sort of drop into um, the hip sockets. And let's point and flex the feet. Nice and slowly pointing and flexing. Taking a moment to just appreciate your feet, your ankles, like just the awesomeness that is you. And then slowly circle the ankles around in one direction. Get nice and slow, conscious, kind. And then circle in the opposite direction. Continuing to breathe, continuing to relax your face. And then stop circling and just take a moment to breathe into this and notice if you can feel that energy being pulled up into the ankles, maybe into the feet, maybe even into the calves and the shins a little bit. Just noticing. And then from here, let's allow the legs to drop to opposite sides. So you have a couple options here. If your legs feel really heavy, you can bring your hands underneath your thighs and support your legs. You can always bend the knees a little bit. You'll still get that stretch in the inner thigh. If you want to spice it up a little bit, you can bring your hands inside your thighs and gently allow the weight of your arms to increase this stretch. So again, you have a lot of options, always doing what's best for you in this moment. Like don't let your ego guide your practice. I feel like we don't necessarily do ourselves any favors when we let our ego guide our practice. I don't know about you, but <laughs> that's usually when I get hurt. So being kind, being loving. A few more breaths here. If you find the legs shaking a little, you can point and flex the feet. Just breathing into this, nice. All right, go ahead and inhale the legs back together. Pause here for a moment. Go ahead and bend those knees, all right? Thighs kind of drop onto the chest. Go ahead and grab onto that block. Release one foot onto the earth and then the other. Pausing here for a moment. And then go ahead and extend one leg and then the other. So nice little arch here, all right? Nice little back bend. Keep the legs active. Don't let the legs flop open. So like the toes are either pointing away from you or towards the sky. 
Notice if you feel a little stretch in the front of the body. If you do, take a moment to appreciate that. Beautiful. Palms on the earth, bend one knee and then the other, pausing here for a moment. Go ahead and inhale the booty up. Take that block or that blanket out and go ahead and gently come on down. And again, let's just pause here and breathe. Notice what has happened. Roll the palms up, bring the arms a slight distance away from the torso so that the shoulders are heavy. Collarbones are open, wide. If it feels like it would be useful, rock the head from side to side, right? So sometimes tension builds up there during bridge. Nice. All right, let's bring the knees into the chest, wrap your arms around your legs, maybe grab onto one of your uh, wrists, keep the knees apart a little bit and rock and roll side to side. I, if you have a strap, I know I didn't say that you should have a strap, so I'm sorry, but if you have a strap, you're gonna wanna use it now. If you don't have a strap, that's okay too. So you can decide what you want to do. But what we're going to do is we're going to start with the left leg today. So we're going to bring the right foot to the earth. Take your block and bring it outside that left hip. All right. Let's bring the right leg towards the sky. Flex the right foot. And just gently stretch the leg. And then go ahead and bend and straighten the knee and see if you can find that little bounce where it just sort of happens, right? Up and down. Not a lot of effort is required here. And you could point or flex your foot from, I feel it's a little more useful with the foot flexed. Five, four, three, two, one. Go ahead and hold the stretch and just breathe into that for a moment. Again, foot is flexed, toes are pointed towards the face, heels towards the sky, legs nice and straight. If you're using that strap, make sure that your hands are kind, shoulders are on the earth. We're just gently encouraging that leg. We're not pulling as hard as we can. That left glute is firmly on the earth. Nice, beautiful. And then from here, locating that block outside that left hip, go ahead and drop the left leg onto the block. So sometimes I find it useful to start with the block on the second side. And just sort of land here for a moment, and then if it feels appropriate, maybe you can lower that block. Once you've kind of gotten into position, go ahead and straighten your right leg. Ugh and then rotate the right leg out to the right. So toes go away from center and breathe into this. And now allow that right leg to get heavy, right? Just surrendering the right leg to the earth. And we've talked about this a few times and until it happens, like you don't even know that it's not surrendered. It's one of those kind of interesting things. Um, maybe you take your right hand and you place it on that front right hip to just sort of encourage a little heaviness there, a little release. Deep breathing, notice how the jaw is. Nice, all right, go ahead and Inhale that left leg up towards the sky. We're gonna exhale all the way across the body. Arms can stay out like a T. Heads in a comfortable position, whatever that means for you, and breathe into this twist. So nice, open chest. Beautiful. 
Go ahead and inhale that left leg back up towards the sky. Shake it out a little bit. You can bring the arms a little closer to the body. Release the left leg down onto the earth. And pause here for a moment and just notice if there's a difference. Like, does the left leg feel longer? <laughs> Mine feels significantly longer right now. Breathing into this, right? Just appreciating the ability to affect your body on this, you know, very deep cellular level. I don't know, you know, life feels a little, a little heavy right now. Sometimes the energy out there is a little heavy. And so our practice allows us to open up, right? It allows us to release some of that grip, some of that heaviness. Bring the arms a little bit closer, roll the palms down onto the earth. Go ahead, bend one knee and then the other. You can take your block and bring it over to the other side of your body. Again, pausing here for a moment, check in with the back and then go ahead and bring the right knee in. Again, if you've got that strap, you can use the strap along the ball of the right foot, lifting the right leg towards the sky, gently stretching it out and then bending and straightening that right leg, letting it bounce. See if you can find that bounce where that your fascia is involved here. You've got, imagine you have like a giant rubber band in your leg. And as it comes down, it just bounces right back up. Nice. Five, four, three, two, one. Go ahead and hold the stretch. Again, if you're using the strap, make sure that your hands are kind, your shoulders are on the earth. If you're using your hands in some ways, that's a little bit better, right? Because we're, we're, we tend to be a little gentler with the hands there. Leg is straight, heel is pointed towards the sky, toes are pointed towards the face. And breathe here. Nice deep breaths. And if it ever feels too intense, if you bend the knee, you will immediately release that stretch. So again, always doing what feels appropriate, safe, kind, interesting. Right glute stays firmly on the earth. Don't let it roll up with this stretch. There's sometimes there's a tendency to lift that right glute up thinking, oh, I'll increase the stretch, but you're not. All right, so gently drop that right leg out to the right. Again, maybe starting with the block on the second side, kind of getting yourself into position there. And then you might be able to drop the block down a little bit. Straighten the left leg. Oh, <laughs> and then rotate the left toes out to the left. So this is that cool side, feminine side, moon side, relationship side. Again, it's, sometimes it's useful to take the left hand and just bring it to that front left hip flexor and encourage a release there. You know, it's interesting. One of the things that I've noticed about my practice is that for certain releases to happen, I have to feel safe and comfortable. And, and I could be wrong, but I'm thinking if we're practicing at home and, and we're not like watching other people and you know that element of our class isn't existing, that we might be actually feeling a little safer. Like the breath might come a little easier. We might be less worried about how we look. Um, and how we're actually doing it. And maybe we're able to listen a little bit more, be completely present in the body, right? Because while we have some general guidelines, it's really important to listen to your body and do what's appropriate for your body today. All right, inhale that right leg up towards the sky, exhale across the body, Arms are out in a T, heads in a comfortable position, and breathe here. Again, nice deep breathing in the twist. A little massage to the internal organs.
Beautiful. Go ahead and lift that right leg back up towards the sky. Shake her out a little bit. And go ahead and release that right leg onto the earth. You can bring the arms a little closer. Keep the palms up. And just breathe. Again, so noticing the length in the right leg. The spaciousness in the right leg. How is her connection to earth? Does it feel different? All right, we'll bring the arms a little bit closer to the body. We'll start with the palms down. We're gonna bend one knee and then the other. We're gonna pause here for a moment. Go ahead and bring the arms up overhead in a comfortable, sustainable position. So usually that means elbows bent in this nice sort of uh, victory or cactus pose. I like to keep the elbows quite a bit higher than the shoulders. If this is not comfortable, if your shoulder's talking to you, take one of your blankets and support both or one of your shoulders. Really hard to breathe when your body's talking to you and uncomfortable. And notice, like tune into the low back for a moment. Notice what happens when we bring our arms up overhead. This, like a more significant arch in the low back happens. So just for experimental purposes, bring the arms back down next to the body. Right? Tune into your spine. Notice what's happening with your spine as you bring your arms back up overhead onto the earth. So everything you do affects your body. Go ahead and walk the feet a little bit wider. Maybe they come about mat distance apart. All right. So for a moment, let's hang out here and let the low back get heavy. So we zip up the low belly. Pelvis rocks up just a little bit. Tushy stays connected, but we kind of are engaging the core a little bit to push the low back down, right? We want to remember this. Next time we exhale, we're going to exhale both knees to the left. You can let your head roll with your knees. Now, as you inhale through center, zip up the low belly, push the low back down, and then exhale the knees to the right. Again, as we come through center, here's our effort. As we exhale, grace and gravity take the legs down. Again, so just keep this going with your breath. Noticing, so maybe today we bring our feeling attention to those back, hip, and pelvic bones. So as you come through center, you kind of, you're pushing the sacrum down, you're on all your back, pelvic, hip bones. And then as you let the knees come down, you kind of roll over to the side, one side of them. You come through center, you sort of roll through all those bones and then over to the opposite side. If that feels a little elusive, bring your feeling attention to your feet, right? Notice them roll from the outside and inside through center as they land flat on the earth to the other side. But let's just try to keep the mind tethered in the body for the moment. Next time the knees come down to the left, we're going to hang out here. So you can bring your head all the way onto your left ear. As, as we hang out here, so some people like to take that left foot and bring it onto the right knee to increase the stretch. Um, the other thing you can do is you can grab your right foot and bring it closer to your booty. Or you could just stay like this. Like, I'm just going to stay like this. So you, again, you decide what's most useful and interesting for you. Straighten that right arm, reaching towards the wall behind you. Oh, feel that stretch all the way to the right hip. Maybe you push the right knee down a little bit, increasing the stretch along the right side of the body. Let's take our left hand and place it along the right side of the rib basket and just tune into your breath for a moment. Close your eyes if they're not already closed. And feel your breath. Become aware of your breath. Aware of what's happening inside the rib basket as the lung expands. You can almost feel the space between the ribs expanding. We think of the ribs as really rigid, 
but there's movement there. All right, soften the right elbow. Go ahead and bring that left arm back up overhead. Let's inhale the knees and head to center. And let's just pause here for a moment and notice what has happened. So did the right nostril open up? Mm. How's the right hip feel? How's the right side of the rib basket feel? The right shoulder? Is the jaw relaxed? Lovely. Next time you exhale, go ahead and exhale the knees to the right. Again, allow the head to roll to the right. Maybe you come on to the right ear and just settle in here knowing that both sides are not created equal. If you want to take that right foot and place it on your left knee, feel free to do so. Otherwise, just hang out here. Relax the face, relax the jaw. Gently straighten the left arm, reaching towards the wall behind you. Maybe you simultaneously push the left knee down. Maybe we take the right hand and place it along the left side of the rib basket or onto the heart. And just feel connected into the left lung and the heart, right? This lovely intimate relationship with the body the lungs are the wings of the heart every time you inhale you're lifting your heart tune into that action as you exhale your heart is kind of snuggling in back home again tune into that action becoming aware of this beautiful intimate relationship in the body Precious, precious relationship. Go ahead and soften the left elbow. Bring the right arm back up overhead. Inhale the knees and head to center. Again, pausing here for a moment. Let the low back get a little heavy. Go ahead and bring the hands to the belly. And then place your hands, bring your, um, we're going to place them into a diamond position. So you're going to bring your thumbs and your index fingers together, right, creating a little diamond. You're going to drop the thumbs into the belly button. Fingers are pointed towards the pubic bone. Hands are very kind and light on the body as you breathe into that. Hands are the motor organ of the heart, right? So just give it a little love. Let that low back get heavy. Nice. Let's bring one knee into the chest and then the other. We're going to rock and roll a little side to side. And then we're going to go ahead and roll it on up. We're going to come on to all fours. All right. So as we come into our tabletop position, we want the knees under the hips, hands underneath um, the shoulders, right? And we'll do a little, a little cat cow. So we're gonna round the back, dropping the head. Maybe we push the hips back a little bit. And then we're gonna arch the back and lift the chin and chest up between the shoulders. I like to inhale as I'm rounding, creating space in the spine. As I exhale, I compress the spine and push out the prana. If you're used to doing your breath in the other way, please feel free to do that. Do whatever feels appropriate for you. Just feel the spine move, like maybe even really over-exaggerate this, right? Really pushing back, 
and scooping down and up. Yeah, nice. Pushing back and then scooping down. Oh, the spine is just an amazing part of the body. I mean, it's all these individual bones held together by softer tissue and the spinal column. Next time we're in a rounded position, let's take it into a barrel roll. So we're gonna come out to the side. We're gonna drop the chin and chest to the earth and we're gonna roll to the opposite side. As you do this again, I like to exhale on the way down, inhale on the way up, close your eyes, feel the fluidity of your body. Like take a moment to just appreciate you Next time you're in a rounded position, reverse your circle going in the opposite direction. Really enjoying this horizontal movement of the vertebrae. Nice, lovely. All right, one more circle. And then as you come back to center, take the knees apart a little bit and let's bring it into child's pose. So booty on the heels, belly comes down, forehead comes down, reach the arms out in front of you a little bit and breathe into this. So arms are somewhat straight, not, you know, we're not putting a lot of effort into the arms, but just elongating the arms for a moment. Go ahead and inhale it up to center. Bring the knees back in line under the hips. Walk the hands forward a little bit. And let's drop the hips down. So we're coming into this upward dog. Nice, beautiful. And just hold here for a moment. And then maybe rock the hips a little side to side. Thanks. Oh, that's so good. All right, go ahead and bring it back into the table pose. So squaring up a little bit. All right, nice. Let's bring the right foot forward. So if you have blocks, blocks might be a little bit useful here. You can bring your blocks up to the front of your mat, right? And you bring your hands onto your blocks. It's not necessary, all right? So I will demonstrate this with blocks and without. So with the, what we're gonna do is we're gonna drop the hips down and then we're gonna straighten the right leg. So we're gonna drop the hips down and straighten the right leg. Without the blocks, this can be done as well, right? You drop the hips down. You might have to move the hands a little bit as you straighten the right leg. When you have the blocks, you can kind of keep the hands in the same position. It doesn't really matter. Use what you got. Couple more times. All right, as you come forward, all right, drop those hips down. Make sure that your knee is over your ankle, that it is not hyperextended in front of your ankle. So just look down and make sure that that's lined up. Keep the hips dropped down. Bring the torso up. You can bring your arms onto your thigh, onto your right thigh. Nice. Pause here for a moment, all right? Really dropping those hips. Feel that stretch in that front of that left hip. All right, go ahead and rock the torso back to center. Inhale the arms up. Oh, you can feel balance is a little required here. Focus on something that's not moving. Drop the shoulders into the shoulder sockets. And if you're feeling strong, balanced, centered, go ahead, lift the eyes, lift the chin, lift the chest. 
reach towards the sky with the sternum, like right from the center of the chest. It'll arch the back, but we're not like compressing the low back here. Breathing into this hold. Nice, next time you exhale, bring the chin back to center, exhale the arms down behind the body. Nice, interlace the fingers, pull the hands down. Again, find your balance. Go ahead, lift the eyes, lift the chin, lift the chest, pull the hands down. Oh, hello core. Nice, release the hands, chin comes back to center. Go ahead and place the hands down onto the earth on either side of that right foot. Tuck the left toes under, lift the left leg up. Oh, nice low lunge, all right? Rock here a little bit on those left toes, forward and back, oh, forward and back. Go ahead, drop the left knee down. We're gonna bring the right leg back. We're gonna come into child's pose and we're gonna pause here for a moment. Again, you can keep those arms stretched out in front of you. Jaw is relaxed, All right, face is relaxed. Beautiful. All right, gently coming back into our table pose. So bring those knees in line with the hips. Okay, let's bring that left foot forward. All right, so same thing. You're either gonna use your blocks or your hands are gonna be on the earth as you drop the hips down and you straighten the leg. And drop the hips down oh, and you straighten the leg. Nice. I'm just rocking here. Beautiful. Next time you come forward, go ahead and drop those hips down. Again, if you need to walk that foot forward so that your knee is over your ankle, it's not hyperextended, drop the hips down, bring the torso up, bring the arms up, but keep those hips dropped down. So we're kind of at this little angle facing forward, right? Beautiful, breathing into this. All right, gently make your way back into a centered position. Okay. Inhale the arms up. Drop the shoulders into the shoulder sockets. So you can kind of feel the core starting to work here a little bit, a little bit of balance required. When you feel centered and strong. Oh, you know what? If you tuck your right toes under, sometimes it helps if this is like a little too wobbly for you. Go ahead and lift your eyes, lift your chin, lift your chest, reach towards the sky and breathe. Nice, and we'll hold this for a couple of breaths. Next time you exhale, head comes back to center, arms come down behind the body. Beautiful, interlace the fingers, interlace them with the awkward pinky on the bottom, pull the hands down. Again, when you find your balance, go ahead, lift your eyes, lift your chin, lift your chest, pull the hands down and breathe here. Nice, good job, hold this. All right, exhale, chin comes back to center, release the hands. Go ahead and bring the hands on the either side of that left foot. Tuck those right toes under and straighten the right leg. 
And again, so we're in a pretty low lunge here. Maybe we can rock on those back toes. Mm. Nice little stretch for the toes. Go ahead, bring that right knee down. Bring the left knee back. Let's bring it into child's pose again and breathe here for a moment. Make sure the jaw's relaxed, like everything's relaxed. Just hang out here. All right, come back into center. Back into that table pose. All right, we're going to extend the left leg. We're going to roll onto the inside of the left foot. You might want to rotate that right leg out to the right a little bit to give you a, a, a stronger base because we're going to open the chest and lift the left arm. So shoulders are stacked. Nice. Breathing into this. And don't let the right side of the body collapse down, like really pushing into the earth with the right hand. Okay. Then we're going to lift the left leg up parallel with the body. And we're going to hold this. Nice. Beautiful. Breathe. Hold. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Before you let your leg come down, bend your left knee. Can you take your left hand and grab your left foot and just push your left heel into your tushy. Nice. Okay, gently release the left leg out straight, nice and slow. You can bring that left arm back up towards the sky and then go ahead and gently let the left toes touch the earth and then lift the leg up again. Oh, and let them touch the earth and lift the leg up. Nice, let's do three more. Breathing, three, two, nice. Last one, go ahead, bring the leg down, bring that left hand down. Go ahead, bring it into child's pose and breathe. I'm gonna turn around for the next one. All right, we're going to do the other side. So back into our table pose. This time we're going to extend the right leg. We're going to come on to the inside of that right foot. Again, you might want to rotate that left leg out to the left a little bit to give yourself a wider base to stand on. We're going to open up the chest by lifting the right arm. Beautiful. All right, so once you feel sort of balanced and strong, lift your right leg. Now we're gonna hold this. Again, don't let the um, left side of your body collapse. Keep it pushed away. Breathing into this. So you don't want the leg higher than the body. You don't want it lower, right? Like you really want this nice straight line. And we'll hold, open the chest, hold open. Nice, okay, slowly let the right toes lower down and then lift the right leg back up and then slowly lower them down and lift it back up. Nice, let's do it three more times. Three, lovely, two, one, hold here. Before we release it, bend the right leg, take your right hand, grab onto your right toes, 
or your right foot, like whatever, whatever you can get. Push that right heel towards your booty. Good job. Okay, release the right leg back out. Right hand comes towards the sky. Go ahead, release the right leg down. Roll back on. Let's bring it back into child's pose. Good job. That's pretty much the hardest. Oh, and breathe. Okay, roll it on up. And just pause here for a moment. So if sitting on your on your um, heels is not comfortable, you can use your block. We're not going to be here very long, but just pause here for a moment. And now we're going to sit side saddle. And frankly, it doesn't really matter which side you're doing, okay? So side saddle is basically, so for me, I have my left foot in front and my right foot behind. But again, it doesn't necessarily matter which way you're doing because we're not, um, um, I don't know. I mean, for conversation's sake, you could have your left knee in front and your, and your right foot behind you. It might be easier. Okay. All right, so as you sit here, so this probably is not comfortable for everybody, right? So just noticing how the spine feels. Like, like, are you feeling rounded? If you're feeling rounded, lift up. If you feel like both glutes are not on the earth, can you kind of like shimmy it a little bit so that they are? Just finding that comfortable spot for a moment. So if your left knee is in front, you're going to place, actually, we're going to place both hands on the earth behind us. And we're going to lift our hips up. Oh, and we're going to come down. So now that you've done that, you can change the positioning of your hands. You're trying to get a stretch in the knee, the, the foot that's behind you, right? So lift up and come down. Nice. Let's do that one more time. Lift up. So good. And then come down. All right. Pause here. If your left knee is bent in front of you, place your left hand on the earth. Let's lift the right arm up and come over. And as we come over, what I want you to do is I want you to slide your left hand and see how far down you can come. Can you, maybe, maybe the right fingertips touch the earth, maybe not, but reach for it. Again, making sure the chest is open, we don't want to, close the chest so we're really reaching over the head nice all right gently bring yourselves back up to center good job right on okay switch legs so what's interesting is both sides are not created equal you have probably you know gone to the side that feels most comfortable the first time and this side might feel a little bit different. Like I already feel different. So again, without judgment, just noticing, like does this, like I, my right knee doesn't want to come all the way to the earth. It's just the way it is, right? So again, pausing in center. Nice. Bring your hands behind you. Lift the hips up. And down. Now that you've done that once, you can move the positioning of your hands, right? Again, lift up and down. Nice, let's do that two more times. Up and down and up and down. Nice, pause here. All right, again, so that if your right knee is in front, your right hand is going to come to the earth. If it's your left knee, um, left foot in front, the left hand. We're going to reach that arm away. We're going to bring the opposite arm up and over. We're going to try to touch the earth oh, on this side. Breathing into that. Again, 
Don't compress the chest, right? Open up, keep it open up. Beautiful. Maybe you can come down a little further. <laughs> all right, push it all up, push it up. Go ahead and bring the legs out in front of you, shake them out a little bit, nice. Something different, all right? Just keep everybody on their toes. All right, pausing here for a moment. Let's do a couple of forward bends. So let me check the time. How are we doing here? Because I want to I want to do some um, hip stretches towards the end. Oh yeah, no, never mind. Okay, we're gonna come into our hip stretches. So come back onto your backs with your knees bent. This is always an opportunity to use your core. Right? You can always come down nice and slow, and then you can pump a little bit here. Oh. Maybe just like five little, five, four, nice, three, two, one. And then go ahead and bring it all the way down and just pause here for a moment. Arms are down, palms are up. So we're gonna get into um, the piriformis a little bit, the hips. So, um, Go ahead and bring the feet about hip distance apart. Maybe a little tad further. So maybe they're closer to shoulder distance apart. All right. We're going to lift the right leg up towards the sky. We're going to flex the right foot. We're going to rotate the right leg out to the right. We're going to drop that right ankle onto the left knee. We're going to take our right hand and push that right knee away. We're creating this nice little triangle. I want that to stay open, right? And then we're going to bring the left knee in. So if you have a block and you want to put your left foot on a block, you can do that. If you want to grab underneath your knee, your left knee, you can do that. You place your right hand in the center of that triangle, or maybe you grab on the outside of the knee. You decide what's best for you today. And again, once you're here, you're going to rock literally two inches to the left. Oh, and then two inches to the right. Mm. And you're going to find that sweet spot and you're going to hang out here for a few breaths. And, and so this is another opportunity to release as you hang out here in this stretch that the grip that you feel in the hip, right? The hips, the emotional dumping ground of the body. Everything we've shoved down and landed there in our hips, right? Things we don't want to deal with. And, and just imagine it flowing out. Like as you're in this pose, use your breath, use the exhale to let go. And maybe the mantra is, you know, I am safe, I'm healthy, you know, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, physically, I am healthy, I am safe. You know, self-talk is so important, right? The things we, like, think about it. You hear yourself more than you hear anybody else. So are you having a kind conversation? And if you're not, try to make it kinder, right? There's so much uncertainty in the world right now and, and um you know the last thing we need to do is like be super critical of ourselves it's just it seems to me to be such a waste of time i'm pretty sure nobody else is as critical of me as i am and so instead of being you know your your worst critic can you be your best friend Couple more breaths. All right, lovely. Go ahead and release the left foot onto the earth. Shake that right leg out a little bit and then bring the right foot to the earth. And again, pause here for a moment. Bring the arms a comfortable distance away from the body, palms up. 
taking a moment to appreciate your practice, like what you've just done, you know, before we rush off into the next pose, like how does this feel? Rock the head a little side to side. Nice, bring the head back to center. Go ahead, bring the arms a little bit closer, palms down. Let's raise the left leg up towards the sky. Again, we're gonna flex the left foot. We're gonna rotate the left leg out to the left. Drop the left ankle onto the right knee. Push that left knee away, really creating space. And then pull the right knee in. And again, you, you decide where you're at today. I find the block a very useful tool here because then I don't have to use my arms, right? I can let my shoulders relax. I don't have to kind of continue that rounding that we do. And again, you want to rock oh, like two inches to the right, two inches to the left, finding that spot that feels the most interesting, useful, and breathe and just hang out here. And so just like the other side, let it go. Relax the jaw, the face, the throat. And just imagine like garbage, right? Just releasing out the old patterns, old thought patterns, old truths, you know, things you were told that aren't true, letting it go. And knowing that right now, right here, everything is okay. Couple more breaths. Beautiful. All right. And go ahead and bring that left foot down to the earth. And bring the arms a little closer to the, to the body if you brought them out. Take the left foot out, shake it out a little bit. And let's just stop with both feet on the earth. Again, pausing here for a moment, noticing what has happened. We're gonna bring our feet sole to sole. And if you have a blanket, I will tell you that it's kind of nice to take your blanket and roll it up. If you, I'll show you, bring your feet sole to sole and then kind of wrap the blanket around, right? Just giving yourselves a little extra support. There's something about this that just makes this pose so much lovelier. Coming down onto the mat, right? Uh, arms out to the side, uh, like a T. Comfortable. If that's not comfortable, bring them closer, right? Like I really want, I want you to be comfortable right now. And frankly, if soul, if your feet soul to soul is not comfortable, don't do it. If you have a bolster, I will tell you that if you can bring your feet up on the bolster, super nice, right? You can always bring them up on the block if you don't have a bolster, but it's kind of nice when you raise the feet in this pose. It just lets the low back open up that much more. And just allow the body to relax. Coming into some nice deep breathing, right? Inhaling through the nose. You can exhale through the nose or the mouth. It doesn't matter. Maybe you bring that breath complete and full. Like just take a moment. And as you exhale, allow the body to relax. 
a little more. Imagine that each exhale is taking you deeper into a sense of relaxation. With each exhale, you feel more and more relaxed. Feeling your body supported by the earth. Imagining the sky above you. Imagining a nice little breeze on your body. Imagine that there's a sun floating right above your head and these warm healing light energy is emanating down into your skull. And this light is filling your skull. It's filling your skull with this pulsating, vibrant healing light energy, divine light. It floats down your throat. This light floats across the collarbones, the shoulders. Imagine the light floating down the arms, through the elbows, the forearms, the wrists, the hands, the fingers. Imagine this light emanating out from your palm and your fingers. As this pulsating healing light energy fills your torso, it envelops your organs, your heart, your lungs, your organs in this lovely healing light energy pushing out dis-ease, discomfort, impurities. It continues to float downward through your spine, your waist, across your hips, filling the buttocks, the pelvic floor, the hips. As the light begins to fill the thighs, you can gently straighten the legs if it feels like you'd like to do that. Fills the knees, the calves, the shins, the ankles. And it, as it pulsates into the feet, just like the hands, right? It emanates out the bottom of the feet. As this light continues to pulse and vibrate and heal, imagine that it fills your auric field, that energetic layer just outside your body. And as that, as that light filters out of your body into your energetic field, those boundaries that are your physical being begin to melt a little bit. so that you are aware of the essence of you, that deeper divine spark of being. Letting that, letting that spark, that, that essence, Like fill your being, meld with your heart, your consciousness, your subconscious, your unconscious. This is that spark that is filled with compassion for yourself and for others. This is that, you know, higher being that exists within you. Always wanting your highest good. Always wanting the highest good for others, our planet, and all those that dwell on our planet. And just allow that sense of, of compassion and, and maybe empathy to seep into your being, 
to all the cells in your being. Imagine what a different world it would be if everybody could find this divine light within and nurture it, expand it, share it. If you're, if you're still in Baddha Konasana, if your feet, soles are still touching, gently straighten out your legs. And just, you know, ever so gently coming back into this moment, just ever so gently making your way back into your body. Maybe imagining gathering up that light, right, that's existing in your auric field gathering up that light and tucking it into your the center of your being and keeping that spark there accessible knowing that like at any point in your day when you feel you know agitated you can tune into that light, right? You can just sort of grab onto that light and let it expand a little bit. So becoming aware of the breath, breathing a little deeper. Aware of the body, like aware of the floor, the ceiling, the walls surrounding you, coming back, 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 back. Wiggling the fingers and toes. And then when you're ready, let's roll over onto the left side. So that's the cool side, moon side, feminine side. It's rolling over onto the left side of the body. Bending the knees, hugging this feeling too for a moment longer. Knowing that you've done something good for yourself, you've done something good for the planet. We have the ability to project peace out into the world one breath at a time. And then when you're ready, use your right hand to push yourself up into a comfortable seated position facing center. So sitting up nice and tall for a moment, taking a moment to close the eyes and just, you know, feel the energy in the body, feel the openness in the body, feel the sense of connection. Allow the palms to find each other in front of the heart center, bowing the head in gratitude, grace, and humility. And then if you care to, you can join me in a single OM. So we lift the chin so that it's parallel to the earth. We take a nice deep breath in together. Um. We say namaste. Namaste. I wish you light and happiness. I thank you so much for sharing your practice with me. Always a good idea to drink some water after our class.